Surely we're telling Stay people. tuned. No. Are you being all secretive? Yeah. Surely not. Because we haven't even booked accommodation yet. Yeah. Morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I thought I'd do a little bit of a change in scenery. I'm always cooped up in my little makeup room. And it's kind of nice to just be outside for once. I literally never spend time out here because my balcony, I feel like, is so small. Like, there's not really much to it. I mean, it doesn't really look small from what I just show you, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really spend too much time out here, but I really want to start even like eating out here. Oh, it's just so much nicer and I don't know, like sometimes I just feel like I'm cooped up because my apartment's like, <laughs> yeah, my apartment's like so small. So sometimes I feel like, I don't know, a claustrophobic when I'm like in there even like all day working. So I'm gonna come out here more often. I also did a Q&A on my Instagram and someone said, will you bring back the really long one hour vlogs? And to be honest, I don't mean for my vlogs to be like half an hour or so, but like it is, obviously life is different now with the business and I've got two employees that I need to, you know, take care of. And majority of the time, like, I'm in the warehouse for like seven and a half hours every time. And like, there's only so much that I can vlog that I haven't vlogged there before. Like we're literally just doing the same thing basically every time. Packing orders, creating content, doing emails, sorting stuff out. Like it's just quite repetitive. But yeah, I am gonna make more of an effort to turn my vlog camera on this week. I'm keeping myself accountable. Yeah, I feel like probably haven't vlogged as much as I probably could have the past couple weeks so yeah here's me keeping myself accountable pulling out the vlog camera more because I mean I can but sometimes I just get lazy I'm also back into drinking coffee every morning obviously decaf but I never I don't know like I don't wake up and like need a coffee to like function I just like the taste of it so sometimes I'll have it like during the day or like if I'm out or, you know, when we go for a walk in the afternoon, I just grab a little, like, decaf latte. But in the mornings, I don't really, like, crave it. But, I don't know, I've recently got some decaf pods again. So, I've been having a little iced moment with a bit of honey. I'm really enjoying it. I have my PT session in about an hour. So, I'm going to go to that. I don't know if we'll do boxing or weights, but I really want to do a mic'd up boxing session also i don't think i told you guys but i told you guys yesterday so peter and i are going to perth finally i haven't been back for a whole year um we're going to perth next week one of those weeks riley and Vita are going to come and we're going to show them around perth um yeah we've we finalized everything yesterday like we booked our accommodation but i'm so excited we're going to go back to rottenness island and like all the touristy her things with them so yeah i'm really excited for that and then uh, we actually haven't booked it yet i'm not gonna say anything until it's like completely booked but i may or may not be going on an international trip um in june i'm so excited it's literally one of my favorite cities in the world so you probably could guess, but yeah, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say who it's with until it is confirmed, but I'm so excited. I didn't think that I'd be going to this place at all this year. I didn't even think that I'd be going anywhere internationally this year, to be honest, just because we did so much travel last year, apart from like Bali at the end of the year. But yeah, I didn't think that. I'd be going, but I, I think we're going. Yeah, we really need to lock in um, what we're doing. I need to finish this, go get ready. And I'll talk to you guys later.
saying I'm gonna vlog way more this week and didn't even pick up my camera once since I got into the warehouse. I just finished <laughs> at the warehouse. Charlie's gone. We got, yeah, heaps done actually. Finalized a few exciting things, which I couldn't really show you and vlog anyway. So yeah, I'm getting picked up now. And Peter's just walked through the door. Whoa. Why have you come in? Huh. I never usually does. Um, yeah, that's all I have to update. Had my lunch. And now we're going for a walk. Mum's coming over. I've got a really busy couple of weeks coming up. So I've just been like kind of planning around that and trying to get shit done. Just got home, had a shower. I'm just about to do my skincare. I actually got a bunch of samples in the mail. So it's always a fun time. I'm not wearing any. Wait, am I? No, I'm not wearing any, but yeah, stay tuned. Um, I'm just gonna do my skincare. I might actually pop some retinol on. I haven't actually put it on in a while. This is the one that I use. I do it like once a week or whenever I can remember. I'm actually so slack with skincare. Like I still use moisturizer no matter what, but like serums and all that sort of stuff, I always like forget that I have and use. So I'm gonna do retinol. It's just the moisturizer that I use at night, the go nightly. And then I mix in one drop of the Isle of Paradise tanning drops and chuck that on. I actually need a booking to get my eyebrows waxed. I have no idea what I feel like for dinner. I feel like pasta or something. Okay, always wash your hands, especially after using this because otherwise your hands will go orange by tomorrow. Also, I know it's bad putting my hair up like that in a towel. I should really use like an old t-shirt, but I say that every time and I use a towel, so. Also, um, we are doing something really exciting at Jazz Handmade. Where is my serum? Oh my God, I've lost everything. I'm gonna have to use this little bit that I took with me. Is that it? I think so. No, that's definitely not moisturizer. I should probably label them. Knowing me, it probably is something that I should be putting on my face, but here we are putting it in my hair. Um, oh, it's right here. Far out. Anyways, yeah, I haven't mentioned this at all on my socials. If you do follow us on Instagram, you probably have seen like a few sneak peeks, but basically we have been working on an influencer collab. It's not me, by the way, um, with Jazz Handmade for probably the past nine or ten months. Like it's been a long time. But yeah, a certain influencer has... Um, been a part of designing her own collection, which is super exciting. And we actually got some of the pieces in our shipment that I got today. And oh my God, like just seeing them for the first time in real life since the samples is just so exciting. So yeah, I want to get you guys excited. You guys are literally going to love it. Like I love the pieces. Like they're definitely pieces that I would wear as well. But yeah, you may be seeing some more sneak peeks over the next couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, we're still waiting on, we're still probably about a month away from actually receiving the products, but we're hoping to do a shoot in May, like beginning of May. I might just heat up a meal for dinner because I'm lazy. I am going to go over to, to Riley's tomorrow and we're going to have dinner together. So I think I'm just going to gonna heat up something. Heat up my dinner. Yum. Now I'm just waiting for maths because we're up to the final vows. And it gets juicy, apparently. Apparently something unexpected is meant to happen. Whoa. Morning! I'm just in Macca's drive through getting a coffee before work. I hope Katie doesn't get there before me because she doesn't have a key. Oh, just gone over a hum. Um, yeah, I'm just getting a coffee and then later today I'm getting my hair done and I think I'm going to do something different. Not like too dramatic, like I'm not going to go brown or anything crazy like that because I feel like brown 
just doesn't suit me like I still want to be lighter but I think I just want to change like the style of it I just feel like it's got its length now and it's just looking a bit flat like I need more layers it needs to be lighter like I think I'm going to get like this much chopped off like just lighter fluffier layers volume you know maybe even some bangs just something just something different I'm just a bit over it like I always wear my hair up because I just don't know how to like it's really hard to style I got some layers cut in but I don't like I was pretty scared so I don't think she did like hectic layers um this was a couple weeks ago but yeah I'm really excited Charlie did like a little stock take yesterday. Yeah. And wait, what was it? It said we're like out of stock and she counted there was like 55. Oh. Slay. Oh, we've got 90 people. That's good for us. Alice, you put your address in wrong. <laughs> he said he'd wipe you up. Oh, we're blocking them. Okay, oh, next one. Camilla Pell anklet. Great, everyone wants in their anklets today. I've got mine on. Oh wait, can you see it? That was <laughs> Here's my hair. You couldn't really see it that well. Oh wait, no, I didn't even vlog in the salon. Yeah, I really love it. I feel so blonde. Yeah, so nice. We'll be making halloumi, crumbed halloumi with salad, salad and, and chips, sweet potato fries. And we might be booking something. Yeah. I don't want to tell them until like when we're just about to go. I oh, reckon. So we have to wait a bit now. Why? Do you reckon? What do you mean wait a bit? For um, they need to get back to us. Oh yeah, but we're definitely going. Yeah, regardless yeah, 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 yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. We've had some flights sent to us, but yeah. we still need to like suss it out. Yeah, we were gonna book them tonight until something popped up, so. Surely we're telling Stay people. tuned. No. Are you being all secretive? Yeah. Surely not. Because we haven't even booked accommodation yet. Yeah, okay. So I literally booked haven't booked it. flights okay. or accommodation. As soon as we've booked it, we're saying. Yeah. Because otherwise that's like. Yeah, it's me. It's giving 2019. Something exciting's coming. You know? Yeah, it's nothing. When someone would be like, oh my god, guys, you're not going to believe what I have to tell you. People still do that, dude. Yeah, me. Okay, these are actually done, but okay. the, up. Are the fries not done. Nice, and then another. Yeah. Okay. Is it this is it. Yeah, Yum, shine. that actually looks so good. Does it? Yum. Good morning, everyone. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with my hair. I just kind of like restyled it because obviously I slept. But I am obsessed. I'm almost wanting to go even shorter with the bangs. Like, like here. I don't know. Maybe when I go away, I'll get them cut even shorter. But I feel like this is a good, like, transition sort of length. I'm obsessed. She also cut a bit of length off as well. It just feels so healthy. Can't even see from that angle. But yeah, I am literally obsessed I've literally never walked out of her chair and not liked my hair like every single time she kills it um, I go to La Sorella in Rabina and she actually I don't know how long this offer is going for but she said when I do post about it to let everyone know that she's having 40% off emerging stylus so that is big like cut color everything so 40% off she they're like blonde specialists so I feel like if you like haven't found your perfect hairdresser on the Gold Coast and you're blonde I'm not saying like you have to be blonde but like she kills it she's like a mentor she is an educator for other hairstylists like she is just incredible like how she does everything I get compliments on my hair all the time as you saw I went over to Riley's yesterday and we were cooking HelloFresh and I was saying like I just couldn't get 
used to having like hair on my face I'm one to always like tuck them behind my ears which I actually can just tuck them but it's gonna take a little while to adjust but I feel like I will yeah really love wearing my hair down now that I've got like a little bit of shape to my face anyways I also wanted to show you this that I got in the mail yesterday I have literally wanted this bag for I was gonna buy it in Dubai but I was like well first of all, I didn't have this exact color and I was gonna settle for another color similar but I was like no like it's not the one that I want I'm not just gonna buy it for the hell of it and plus it was a smaller version which I didn't actually want it I wanted this exact one anyway so I was like no I'm not gonna buy it in Dubai I'm going to wait for the right time I don't know what convinced me but I actually know I do know what convinced me I saw a TikTok of a girl that had it and I was like sold but I've justified it because not really I'm going on a trip with Riley like a really exciting trip booking our flights today really exciting so I just in that exact city this bag would just be an absolute dream okay I'm not saying I just bought this bag for holidays, but like it, it would just be an absolute vibe. I actually have posted about it before and um, a lot of people didn't like it. But I was like, you know what? It's not your bag. Okay, I'm gonna stop being annoying and show you, okay. So. Ah! Stop, 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 stop. Don't literally don't it is the perfect size I have all of my bags that I have are quite small um, so I don't actually have I actually this is probably the biggest bag that I have to be honest like that would fit more than just like a phone and a camera in it without it like bursting at the seams I feel like I say that a lot I love her just what a freaking vibe some people said that it reminds me of something that they would buy from Kmart but I mean, I just love it. I just wanted to show you because I was very, very excited about it and I'm just so excited to take it on my trip. Anyways, I'm gonna actually go and make something to eat because otherwise I'll be starving later. And yeah, I didn't share my thoughts on the jeans and how they fit. Um, they were sent to me from, was it L? Oh my God, maybe I should have read the label. Elor? They ended up sending me a size 12 and a 14 and I obviously tried them both on. This one is in a 12 and I feel like these probably fit me the best. The 14 are a little bit too big but they still, I knew this was going to happen because it's just inevitable. They still gape a bit at the back but I do really like how they sit on my hips. Like I think I want to get them taken in at the back. So I really do love like how they fit everywhere else. Good morning, everyone. Oh my God, my battery's about to die and I'm literally just about to go into boxing. Uh, that is so annoying. Anyways, good morning. I, just like I said, I've come to boxing. I also managed to like completely slick my hair back with my bangs, not gonna lie. I did need to use a lot of product to like help it hold. I don't have any bobby pins, but like I have a feeling that they might start to like, I don't know, come out like during my session. But oh my God, I feel so blonde now. Oh my God, I'm lightheaded because I haven't eaten anything. Well, sometimes it doesn't really affect me, but then sometimes when I have like a really hard session, oh, okay, I need to go home and have a big ass protein shake. I always feel like big, cold, protein shakes after I train I don't know why but then when I'm not at the gym I crave like eggs on toast with avocado but like after the gym it's a big protein shake I'm so excited okay see you at home
Hello everyone. So I'm back home now. I went for a walk. I'm just doing my makeup for dinner tonight. I think I'm just going to wear my hair slicked because I've already got so much hairspray and product in from this morning. So I'm going to redo that after. Maybe put it in a bun. I tried this blush for the first time and I actually really like it. I now understand why people say a little goes a long way. I did like two dots and I had to like wipe off some after I blended it out because it was so pigmented, but I actually really like this color. It looks very coral in person, but once you blend it out, it kind of just, I don't know, it works really well. This is in the shade Joy. I think I might do like beige pants, black bodysuit, black boots, and my new bag, surely. Put it on my cheekbones. I need to wipe some off. This is my trusty Huda Beauty one. I might try putting like a lipstick on. I feel like I never wear lipstick. I usually just do like liner and then a gloss. This is quite pigmented, but I want to actually wear a lipstick. Oh, I wanted to try the new Huda Beauty concealers. I got sent these actually in PR. I might actually keep them on my desk. Let's, let's see what this lipstick looks like. Oh yeah, it's like the same as the liner. I just, I don't know. I just never wear lipstick. Like I just feel like I don't suit it. No, that's not me at all. I think I just like a natural pinky, natural pinky vibe. I don't know. This one's nice. Okay, I'm gonna go find another hair tie and put my outfit on and then I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay, here's the fit. Skims bodysuit. These pants I got ages ago from Princess Polly and then I'm just gonna wear my new Whitner boots that I wore in Sydney. And then my new little bag. Well, not really little. It's actually quite large to what I'm used to, but I'm obsessed. That was so good. If you guys have never been to Jamelli's, this is your sign to book it. Morning. This is the work fit for today. This is just a skim singlet and you know those beige toweling pants that I literally always wear? Well, they're from Iris Swim and I only just realized they have, like I thought they just discontinued the style. Um, and I went on just for a little snoop and found out that they have this color. So obviously I had to get it because I literally live in my beige ones. I did take the drawstring off my ones, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, if I prefer it with or without, but yeah, I absolutely love them. And I need to also tan tonight, I'm feeling very pasty. I also tried to, because obviously my hair's dirty, um, I tried to just wash my bangs so I could see what it looks like with my hair up and then just like my bangs out. No. Nah. I just feel like it didn't suit me, it didn't work. Maybe it was just me trying to style it. I don't know, so I just decided to slick it back. And that took me like 20 minutes to do, so that was a waste of time. But anyways, uh, also, we just put these bolt huggies. Oh, I need to put earrings in those holes. Um, online. How cute are they? I'm obsessed. So yeah, they're online now. I actually go find some other huggies to put in my other holes so they don't feel bare. And yeah, head to work. <laughs> Hello everyone. Happy Friday. Have I even vlogged at all today? I feel like I haven't. I haven't even like posted on Instagram today, but um, we were all in the warehouse today. Fridays are usually really busy. We try and get as much content as we can basically for like the rest of the week because all three of us are there. So there's not really much. I mean, I could probably bring you guys along one Friday. It's pretty hectic though. Like we just like filming the whole time, but Anyways, I did go to my doctor's appointment and 
for like my results from my blood test to check my eggs and I think she said like an all over like hormone blood check and yeah like my ultrasound results obviously but I already kind of saw like when she was doing it uh but she surprisingly said like all of my blood work was normal like there wasn't anything abnormal she did refer me to a gynecologist though just for like future fertility you know things and yeah like getting my periods back and seeing what they say um but yeah she didn't really say too much to be completely honest with you like it seemed quite rushed but yeah she didn't like there wasn't any like major concerns with my blood results and she said my egg count was normal so I guess that's a good thing that's all I have to really update you guys with that uh she said that um seeing a gynecologist isn't like I don't have to go like ASAP like anytime within the next three months so I probably will do that when I get back from holidays good morning everyone yes I've got the headband back in I'm off to a naked harvest event I feel like I need to put a little bit more like color on my lips I just have the lip liner that I always wear the Huda Beauty pinky brown and just the Laneige lip mask we're actually doing Pilates and I have a full face of makeup on. <laughs> I actually didn't expect to put this much on, but oh well, we're just rolling with it. I'm actually gonna go meet Liv first. I haven't caught up with her for ages. She's been like so busy with her new job and I used to see her all the time at Essentials and I'm kind of just like taking a break from that. Um, so yeah, it'll be good to catch up with her and then I'll go to the event with her. Let's chuck on my Trusty cloud. This is the fit. I've just got some bike pants on, stacks, and then this like one one shoulder. I was gonna say one shoulder, um, off the shoulder crop from one of their older collections. And I'm just gonna wear this like throw over with my new new balances. So yeah, that's the vibe. That's probably live. Um, and yeah, I'll see how much I can actually film but I will speak to you later anyway. Good morning, everyone. I don't know what I've done with my hair today. I've just put it back with a headband. I haven't really done much today to be completely honest clean the apartment a bit i've just been booking some stuff um editing my vlog i didn't edit it at all throughout the week so i've been like doing this for a couple of hours but i thought i would just get a little break in and have some lunch but yeah yesterday was really fun uh and then for the rest of the day we kind of just chilled here and binged watched survivor oh my fucking god why have i not watched any of the other seasons. I remember watching it when I was in high school, like with mum, but I didn't really get into it. Like I wasn't obsessed, but this season, I know it's over and I have seen a few spoilers. I haven't seen the winner, but I think I know the final four. Um, but yeah, it is hectic. Like, literally has us at the edge of our seats. Like we are so glad that we binge watched it. Cause we're like, what if like we were watching this in real time and we had to wait like, another day or another week for the next episode. Like we would have been like so upset. So we're like so excited that we have a whole season to binge. So we watched like five episodes last night until like almost 2 a.m. Um, and then I think we're gonna finish it off tonight. But yeah, it's so freaking good. Like I didn't think I'd get into it. Also, I've been meaning to get like a work content phone for ages. Obviously um, the girls at work usually use their own phones which is fine but i just thought to be a little bit more profesh you know um so they can have like their own content phone for when they're filming content and stuff so i actually pranked them because yesterday was obviously the first of april so april fools and peter actually had this idea so i can't give myself all the credit he's like you should because we ended up getting this phone from a secondhand shop just in surface here on the gold coast I think it was called like sky tree or something but it was like in the middle of surface like where like the touristy area is and because i bought a phone without the actual box they just give you like a generic box and the box sticker on the outside said samsung galaxy 
So he's like, oh my God, it'd be so funny if you like sent a photo to the girls and said like, oh, I got a new phone. It's the Samsung Galaxy. And I was like, oh my God, that is such a good idea. So I'll put our text conversation here. I already posted on Instagram, but if you somehow don't follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, so I pranked them and I said like, oh my God, finally got around to getting a new work phone. I got the Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> And I was pissing. They didn't reply for ages. No offense if you like have a Samsung or anything, but I just don't think those phones are ideal for like content and social media just because I feel like everyone has an iPhone. And when like someone has the same phone, it's just so easy to like do stuff together. Like it's just, it'd be so hard if one of the girls had a Samsung or a different phone. Yeah, I ended up getting a 12 Pro Max. So I, my old phone was a 12 Pro Max. So this is what I use to get my content in if I want to take photos, video, oh, not videos. I actually use my 14, not me with freaking three phones. I use my 14 mainly for video content. I mean, for, for most of the time, photos are fine. Like if you're taking a photo of like the beach or like a sunset or something, it just sometimes in certain lighting, if you're taking like a product picture, it really adjusts the lighting to make it dull. It makes everything darker. It brings the blacks down. Um, in some circumstances, it works out and it actually looks better, but it. But most of the time, I would say I would prefer to use the 12 Pro Max for content. I ended up getting the 512 gig. So yeah, it's not gonna run out of storage anytime soon because I know photos and videos, especially when you're shooting in high quality, like 4K, it takes up so much space so i decided to get the 512 just heated up a meal i'm gonna have that and then probably get out of the house and go for a walk a bit later on i'm just editing my vlog now and it's up to around half an hour and i know i said i was gonna try to put the vlog camera a lot more this week but it still ended up being around the same time as all of my other weekly vlogs but yeah i hope you don't mind um Obviously, the next couple of weeks are going to be hectic. Like, I'll be traveling. So, I'll probably be vlogging more because I'll be getting up to more exciting things. So, yeah, maybe my next couple of vlogs will be a bit longer because, yeah, like I said, we'll be doing heaps of different things, seeing different things. And, yeah, there'll just be a lot more to vlog about rather than just, like, my everyday life here at home. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys same time next week. Bye.